Scientists are warning about the rise in potentially fatal bacterial infections due to global warming. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us now with one man's story of survival. And he has an incredible story to tell. This so called flesh eating bacteria can grow in warm, shallow coastal waters. And for people who get infected, the symptoms can be intense and happen quickly. Kenny Watts doesn't take for granted being able to share his story. I still get emotional. In August 2017, he was cooking a crab when a pinch broke the skin on his hand. Within a day, he knew something was wrong and called his girlfriend, Trisha. Got this big blister on my hand, and uh, by the time she got here, I was lethargic. His organs were that quickly starting to shut down, and the infection was already spreading through his body. It was Vibrio vulnificus bacteria, which thrives in shallow, warm coastal waters and can infect a cut on the skin. The infection can require limb amputations, and about one in five people die, sometimes within a day or two. I can count on my fingertips bacteria that have the high virulence that Vibro vulnificus possesses. Doctors say while infections are rare, a recent UK study shows climate change threatens to increase those numbers along the US East Coast. It's one of many problems projected to happen because of climate change, but awareness helps people to become more prepared. So you don't go swimming if you have a wound. Researchers say these infections are rarely detected in water colder than 55 degrees. Most occur in the warmer months in the U.S. between May and October. I was told I had 5% chance of living. Kenny made it, but needed several surgeries. I guess I'm one of the lucky ones because I didn't lose anything, maybe some mobility, but I didn't lose a limb or anything like that. He was able to regain function of his hand and arm with therapy. And doctors say it is also possible to get this infection by eating raw or undercooked seafood from warm brackish water where the bacteria grow. But thoroughly cooking that food will kill the bacteria. Something with warmer temperatures we need to keep in mind now. Very much so. That was unbelievable. Okay, Stephanie, thank you for that.